Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Now that we've had a drink and a bite to eat, we can continue on with our tale. We had met up with Khadgar and he had teleported us back to Draenor, which is what Outland used to be. Yes, we had gone back in time. Many expansions above this area now, but the garrison, because you've got the separate garrison hearthstone, it's a really handy thing to do. Now, Senlea, she plays quite a bit more Warcraft than I do. Um, and she does uh, uses the garrison daily on a number of her characters. And that's one of the ways that she uh, gets a lot of the pets that she does. And also, it's, it's like part of uh, leveling up pets and stuff as well. There's all sorts of different rewards you can get here at the garrison. The top level rewards now, you do need the latest expansion and you need to do it via the latest expansion. But there is still a load of stuff that you can get with pets uh, through doing the daily quests here in the garrison with your um, different characters and with the pets. And some of those battles are really, really tough. Right, you've got to build up a fair collection of pets to be able to combat all the different types of creatures that turn up in the garrison and be able to take them on. I can't do it. Like, half the battles that turn up, I, I, I just don't have a hope. I absolutely don't have a hope of being able to do them. Sen will go and do loads of them. Um, she's really adept at uh, being able to take all of them down. Me, not a chance. Yeah, I, I, I really struggle with the pet battles. That, well, the higher level ones. The low level ones, yeah, they're fine. But I don't have that vast a collection of leveled up. And it's, it's, you've got to have the pets leveled up. That's the big thing with it, is you, you need your pets leveled up to be sort of if, well, to be effective going up against the elite ones and that, you need your pets to be level 25. If you don't have level 25 pets, you need to sort of do a load of battles and level them up so that you can then start working on it. And this all the way up through. I'm taking out some of these rats. That's going to add to the critters that we've taken down. Taking out critters is always good. It aids us. I ran out of coffee a little while ago, didn't I? And the coffee only counts in there. Right, let's go and speak to you. Uh, 19 of 19. I've got six I can get. Although, I know that you, you sort of use up all the Drannic Stone on there. It's quite surprising just how much ore we get from doing those bits. Just, just handing in there. It is very surprising just what we get. Okay, think you can help us catch some fish around here? Abyssal gulper eels. We need to stock Garrison Pond with local fish. I need you to search the waters in spires of Arak for fish that we can stock up with. Once you have the fish, you will need to slice them up and look for eggs inside. We can do that. Um, once we've done that and we've done the quest, we'll come back and then we will do the upgrade for the um, fishing shack. We'll put the fishing shack to level 2. Now... We also want to have a look. Forest spiderlings. Forest spiderlings. Moonshell crab, zanger crawler, and moss bite skitterer are the ones that we don't have. That's all forest spiderlings around there. I'm going to drop down below here and just, just have a look. That's them. Uh, that's true iron over there. Let's run down here because at the moment we've still got Henry Ashworth running around with us. Though he hasn't been running around. Ooh. No, that's just a level up on the spider that I've already got. So I'm going to I'm going to forfeit that one. I've only got two pets anyway. My pet died last time I used it. It's no good. Let's go into collections and uh, pet journal. Revive all of my pets. There we go. Right, now. There's, there's another one around here somewhere. There's a corrupted toad right there. Sitting there looking at me with a toad-like grin. Grab that true eye in a minute. Now, where? Oh, he's, he's right next to all the toads. It's be difficult. You know, I'm going to leave him. He, he can just stay there. We're going to head off towards the spires of Arak, and we're going to see if we can... I just need to find any water in the... Sp no, I don't want to go that way. Any water in the spires of Arak, and that is over that way, isn't it? Well, actually, we can sort of head that way. There. There. Now, I'm not quite sure where we are. I think that Gulvar, is that Shadow Moon or is that... Yeah, that is. That's this part of uh, Shadow Moon. Uh, way down below us is True Iron. I'm going to leave that behind. 
pains me to do it, it must be said. I genuinely find it painful to leave it behind, but I feel that some sacrifices must be made. Occasionally, sacrifices must be made. Darting swift feathers. There's a load of birds and stuff up here and bird type things. We can leave those. Now, I'm looking for gulper eel. Uh, there, abyssal gulper eels. Down here. There's a bird there under the water. Honestly, that doesn't seem quite right. I'm going to get rid of it. Because the bird under the water just definitely doesn't seem like it's supposed to be there. I'm not using the AoE that we we have. Right, that hasn't got any loot. It's a bit odd. I'm going to go... Now, can I stand on the edge? I can't. That's just making me slide into the water. Ah, there. To go right there, I think. We want Abyssal Gulper, which is Blind Lakes, Black Whip Tail, Sotras Fur come down there, Small Jawless, Enormous Jawless Skulker, Sea Scorpion, Abyssal Gulper Eel. That's the one we want up there. So I want that on my fishing rod. Well, I don't see anything around. So, oops, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. I want to equip the fishing rod like that and move you down over here so I don't forget to put that one back. Then I want to apply that to my fishing rod and start fishing. So we can start fishing in here. We, we, we get them out of here without any trouble. But what I'd also like to do is I'm hoping that we will get another... Oops. I heard a noise and it wasn't what I... It was the thing up in the air above us. It wasn't this bit at all. So we'll grab... We'll, we'll fish up the stuff out of the pond. And we should, in theory, be able to just keep fishing here. Without having to go and change it. We get the enormous... Gulper eel right there. I've actually got five of those now. And five of those is enough for the quest. If I just... Um, use them. That will make into the meat and it will also make into the other stuff as well. Uh, the, the eggs that we need to get. And that's all I need. I, I don't need any more than that. But what I'm hoping is if I stay here and do a little bit more fishing we can just generate a bit more and get another one of the bits of um, not ore. Uh, the, the, the bait thing. You know the, the bait thing for the enormous gulper reels. If we can get a little bit more bait That'd be fantastic. With Drenor fishing is up to 53. Remember now what the fishing goes up to. Is it 75 or is it 100? I'll have a look in a minute. There's one more. Okay, we're still going well with this. With That's four we've got out of there. Normally it's only three or four and the thing disappears. So we've got four already and this is the fifth one right there. So five of them out of there. That's actually really good. I'm going to do a little bit more fishing. It, I believe that it's out of the pools that you normally get the special bait. So it doesn't like we're getting any more special bait this time. But we've still got a load of special bait active. So for that reason, I kind of like to keep fishing a little bit longer. Just, just for a bit. It's nice to be able to do some fishing. And also it's good to be able to level up our skill a bit. He's having a drink. Um, so we've got a standard abyssal gulper eel. A small one there. Right, there's... That one's going down there. I want to put that one up there. So we've got the three gulper eels in a line. Are we going to pick up the bait? Or is that bait only available out of pools? Genuinely can't remember. Ah! Perfect! Absolutely spot on perfect. We'll take that one. We got the full line up there. I got the full line there. Not there on the blind lake sturgeons. But I do have the full line here. And we're fishing is up to level 54. We'll have a look in just a second. We'll, we'll, we'll fish up one more. Come on. There we go. Right, there's another eel. And if I have a look into professions and I have a look in fishing skills right there. Drenor fishing, it is out of 100. Right. These, oh, that one's 300. Those are 75 each. So yeah, it's, it's something that we need to work on. 
I've asked, I, I, think, I think I have asked before if uh, anybody does particularly want me to work on the fishing. I know that doing the fishing is maybe not the most exciting thing to do. And I'm kind of wondering, once I've actually leveled this character all the way up, I, and we start on our next character, I am seriously considering, like every now and then, maybe each time I do a recording session, it's like jump in, do a few quests with this one. Either we do some stuff with the garrison, um, or I spend a bit of time doing some fishing quests in other zones, and that way I can work on professions and things like that in all the other zones, and I can build all professions up with this one. We could do maybe two or three archaeology things in different zones and, and stuff like that. And that way I would be able to master all of the professions and work on the other character at the same time. And we've sort of gotten into a cycle now with the recording sessions. Um, so you'd have an episode, maybe an episode and a half of me working on Grundorn's skills at max level. And then we'd go and we'd be working on our alt. And that's very much the way a lot of people play the game anyway. They would go along and they work on professions and stuff on their main on leveled up characters, and they also have a little bit of time uh, working on their other characters as well. I'm gonna do just enough to take us up to level 57, I think, because we've only been doing four minutes of fishing so far. Oh, actually, no, because uh, we yo yeah it is it's four minutes of fishing we've been doing because uh, that one we applied that right at the very beginning. You can only get one piece of bait. I know that's definitely a thing. You can only get one piece of bait. Uh, crescent saberfish. I don't think we've had any large crescent saberfish yet. Just that one. So I'm getting plenty of. I'm, I'm getting small crescent saberfish and the standard ones, but we haven't had very many large ones. But the enormous ones, yes, you get those out of pools, but I have been told that you can get them under regular circumstances as well. It's just that they're a lot rarer than they are with um, the pools. Like, it, it, it well, with the, a lot rarer than any of the other fish. It's far more frequent that you will get the small stuff and the standard stuff, and then to very, very occasionally you will get a, a large one if you're outside of the pools to do it. Um, fishing, obviously, to sort of go hand in hand with our fishing. There we go, we've just hit level 57. We'll stop now. That's enough to do for that. So there we go. We've got our glorified pine cone right there. And our fantastic shield that Torval made us. I really like I, I really do like this shield, this awesome shield. Um and you know what? I shouldn't have just taken off then. I'm gonna come down over here, so I'm out of Ooh. Right, what up? That's herbalism. Uh black rock, right there. That's underneath me. I've got things there. Pretty sure... Yeah, I, there was another one. Right, we got true iron up there, which I'm going to get. Oh. Can I get it without agitating everything? Not a chance. Right, yeah, but these... I, I'm pretty sure I can take these down quickly. I'm hoping I can. If I, if I can just whip these down quickly, I'll sure, I won't put down the AOE on the floor because um, that way I'm hoping that I won't irritate anything else around me. I can just pick those up. And Apex is crystal. Nice. And we pick these up down here. There we go. That's got us a little bit more Drenic Stone. That's why we want we, the Drenic Stone is good. And then we can come down here and we can get that one. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get that. Because he's all the way over there at the moment. The Skyreach Labor Master. There's some more. Grab that. So our Drenor Mining is up to level 68. That's doing pretty good. And let's sit ourselves down up here. There's a... Yeah, we won't worry about that. So we want Garrison Hearthstone. Half back to our garrison. Oh, wait. Before we actually go, let's just make sure that we do indeed have the eggs. Right there, yes, we do have the eggs. Right, that's good. Ideal. And where did that meat go? I just did that. I've got the gulper meat. Here's, oh, there it is. Abyssal gulper eel flesh right there. 20 of them. Uh, that I will send off to... That's jawless skulkers there. Yeah, we'll send that... Oh, wait, no. That one. No, not that one either. I want to do that one. I want to garrison half. 
Uh, we'll send... I'm, I'm going to go through my bags as well and send a bit of uh, post off to some of our other characters. Mount up on the blood wing. Run down here. Oh, there he is. I wonder where he's gone for a minute. I'll start to have a panic. Have we done something wrong? No, we haven't. Ron Ashton. There we go. Anything biting? These will do nicely, Grandorn. Thank you. There we go. That's put us up to 58 fishing. So we're only 42 away from maximum fishing level. So first up, we'll go here and we will open that one. So we get 89 copper. We are the raking in the money now. This is just fantastic. Elixir of water walking. Definitely one. I want to keep that. I got rid of some of them. I sent them over to another character, didn't I? And and then we got the fish cleaver right there. Let's have a look at that. We go. Why aren't you? Oh, it's grey. Oh, wait a minute. No, uh, white quality. Weapons go to white quality. You can't use a fish cleaver. Right, I thought maybe it was a weapon. I was I was just looking at seeing what it would look like when I equipped the weapon, but of course you can't actually do that with these. Okay, so never mind that. Let me just quickly sort through and post off a few items. All right, that's cleared a little bit of space out of our bags, sending off things that we need to to Hi. our other characters. And now we can go through and sell off anything that's soulbound or we're not keeping for our personal epic quest. All these things like this. There's soulbound items as well that we don't want, like Diary of Boldier Deep Rock. Waterlog pages have mostly faded, but you can make out some pieces about field testing a poison immunity. And yeah, didn't end well for him though, did it? Right, and then we've got some of these items here are well actually wait, that no, it was that one there that I wanted to take and use, but I need to do change over what I look like. This one here is no good, but that's Soulbound. Carabor Honor Guard Helm. If it's Soulbound, I just want to get rid of it. You are Soulbound, I'll get rid of you. That one, no good, so we get rid of. And so it goes, wait, ooh, uh. Okay, that one I think we'll wear. Looking at that, I lose a bit of dodge and ma uh, no, actually it's that's a little bit too close together, so I think we'll just get rid of it. And we got the Gurubashi Punisher, which is the one that we've had for quite a long time. It's time to get rid of that one. It's time to go. Thank you very much to the person that sent that one to me. The Gurubashi Punisher has been great. And our final use out of it is get 35 gold. Awesome. And then these over... Oh, hang on. That one's bind on equip. Soul bound. Uh... Hmm. That's pretty close. Actually, I'm going to take that one. Yeah, we will use that one. And then you over here. 21 haste, but I lose crit and mastery. That's borderline. So, and then that's a chess piece anyway. So I'll get rid of that one. Staff the Mad Bramble King. That's no good to us. There's 42 gold, that is. Or just under. And then those, no. And this stuff here, we want to put... We're going to go and put that in our bank, I should think. We'll... Well, actually, we don't even need those anymore. Because we've got the appearances of them, and we're not actually going to be physically using them. Because we can't. We've got three unique equipped pieces anyway. The Canopic Chest is not anything to do with it, and so is the Hollow Heart Leg Guards. They're nothing to do with it either. And those are the ones I'm replacing. These items here I could probably sell. I'm not going to, though. I'm, I'm going to put them in the bank. Just in case, because i I got a feeling that we'll end up wanting them. Right, I'm going to put that in there so that we've got some food that we can eat. And then, let me just move a bit of this around as well. That's a, a quest item. What are you? Shadow berries, no sell price. 2% maximum health. I, I really should eat them. Oh, it's use. And then it's it's a... Perm, is it a permanent thing? I'm not really sure. We'll look at that. That's everything I want to do there, Good. anyway. And now I want to go out and I want to get the... Transmogrification little dude up so that we can transmogrify a few things. Where are you? Uh, a Grand Expedition Yak. <laughs> Travelling trader, transmogrifier. Punches, Lucky doos and rope. Lucky doos? So, Carabor on a leg... Well, actually... Good fortune to all friends of the Grummels. 
<laughs> Love those things. Um, the Grummels, they're, they're brilliant. Right, so we want to change over the Carabor Honor Guard Leg Guards. Swap them over. And then we also want that chess piece as well. Bind on equip. Yes, thank you very much. We ever put that in our guild bank. Uh, it's now mine. It's awesome. So those two we will sell. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go to here. Just the thing, Wanderer. Wanderer, I have just the thing. You are transmogrified. You over here, uh, no, that one right there. I don't want the new smoldering breastplate. It's the true steel. That's what we want. We want the true steel appearance right there. So that's five gold. Apply. And then we also want, uh, we've already got, the, those are true steel boots. It's that one, the Carabor. Honor guard leg plates and hollow heart elder tortoiseshell leg plates like that. But no, that's what we want there just to fit in with the rest of what we've got. See, we don't want any of those. We want that one right there and 16 gold? Are you kidding? That's a ripoff. How am I going to afford that? I've only got 2,830 gold left after that. Shocking. It's absolutely shocking behavior. And... Do we want to change our mace at the moment? I was thinking about this last time, whether we should change the mace or not. And honestly, I'm thinking we'll just keep it. I kind of like the idea of clunking people on the head with a pine cone at the moment. I mean, it's, yes, it's not quite so elegant as some of the other options that we've used in the past, but still. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Farewell. I have many, many wares. Many wares. We will repair our stuff there, and I'll sell those two. They're done. Finished with them. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Farewell. And we're going to run back down here. We can go to our guild bank that we've got in here, which is absolutely fantastic. There. As far as I'm concerned, this is an essential outpost. So we got the guild bank one here. I don't actually want the guild bank one because of this. I'm very much aware that... I'm probably, I'd put the least amount of stuff into the guild bank. I mean, there's pets that I've put in, but most of those have actually been sent by a send. To so I am very aware of the fact that I probably put less into the guild bank than just about anybody else. Not sure how I should feel about that. Um, but there we go. Right, uh, that one I want to keep back. So I got those, I'll, I'll keep hold of those five. We'll store them in there, we'll just keep them there. And Keep your feet on the ground. Hopefully, everything will all be tickety-boo. I think I've spent a little bit longer than I would normally on uh, things in the garrison this time round. But, I, you know, I think that's alright. We're, we're doing just fine. We've had one of those return, but we've still got a couple. Of, we've got two of them. We've got 14 minutes and then that one returns. So we'll head back in a little while and we'll do that. Uh, one thing that I will do a minute is I'm just going to come down here. And I'm going to throw that one out like that. And we'll catch a couple of these. We're on our way over, we'll just, we'll just do a few of them like this. And I'll go full combat now. May as well. So we can put that right. He's now captured. So then I can start working on this next one. I need to get closer. I'm over here. There. Throw down another one. If we can do some... Oh, that was another thing. When we do go back, I must remember to do the upgrade that we're allowed to do for the fishing shack as well. It's another one that we want to do. It's too and far away. Go and grab another pearl tusk. Because these get us leathers, don't range. they? And then the, the wolves and that, they get us fur. And then when we are able to upgrade the barn, we can then go and get some upgrades for like getting us bits of meat all the way around the place. And it's the bits of meat one that I think is going to be the most useful for us. Because that's going to allow us to get to all get kinds of extra bits. There's some wolves down there, which we'll get in a minute. I got four of these so far. I don't know what I got last time. I think I ended up getting five in total. But we're getting them pretty quick. And then if you, like, come back, you know what I was saying about coming back to uh, doing this every so often um, at max level and, like, swapping between different characters, uh, you can do that as well, and it's a lot faster to be able to do this. You're, like, you just about one-shot them. Although, the only thing I'm not sure of is if you one-shot these things... 
I already put that down. Oh! There. It's because I was catching the other one. I was catching the same one twice. Uh, I think you've got to be quite careful when you're really high level because even if you just hit them with white damage, you're not doing anything else to them. It, it's too far uh, away. You, you can like do too much damage and then you end up killing them. And you, you've got to be really, really careful with that. Um, there's like there's other quests that I've had trouble with in the past when I'm going back and like reworking zones at max level trying to go through and do things sometimes you get quests where you've got to weaken something instead of just outright kill it those are always tricky to do always always really tricky to do because weakening it means not killing it and when your easiest ability outright kills something and like one shot kills it you can struggle a bit you really can Right, we'll leave that lot there. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's go and grab a couple more wolves, shall we? Let's have you. So I put that one down there. Is it going to take it? Because I ought to heal up a bit. Let's do that one, shall we? Uh, ah, there we go. Right. Now I can get you as well. And I'm going to drop that one down there. It should, I'm hoping, take it. There we go. We've got another one. And i got four wolves over there. And uh, now I got all of them coming back towards me, which may or may not be a good thing. Let's drop that there. And there's one of them. Right, one down. I can't attack that target. Three to go, and they are doing a lot of damage to me. So let's let's just be very careful. I I want to get them. I don't want to kill them. If, if I can get them I without actually killing them, this 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 would be a very beneficial thing. There. Right, there's one of them. Uh, I've only got two of them on me. This should make life a little bit easier. That down there. And I got you. And you should already have enough damage done to you that... I put that one down. And that one's out as well. Excellent. Right. Now, you may be able to hear a little bit of noise in the background. My neighbours are having some work done on their roof. And it I'm means that range. occasionally the drills that they're using are... Causing a bit of um, a, a, a little bit of a racket. Okay, we got two more Shadow Moon Stalkers here that we can grab, and you there as well. Let's chuck down a trap on top of you. Oh, can't even use the trap there. And now I can mine that one up. Get rid of you. There we go. I got a whole load of them now. I got two lots of them easily. Let's have a look. Oh no, not not there. In here. I. Six leathery cage beasts and ten furry cage. That was actually really, really fast to gather those up. I am impressed with the speed that we managed to gather all of those up. That's, that's quite cool, that is. So, uh, Migrant Workers is there. Transporter 047-B is a little bit further along. And that's what we're going to go for now. If we happen to see any pets along the way, we will grab one. Henry Ashworth has had his time in the sun. We're going to go on a little bit further. Who have we got now? We've got hunt oh, Hunting Rider. Hello, Rider. Good afternoon. Let me just say good afternoon. There, and what's that? That is true iron. I did wonder if that was ore down there. I was, I was sort of looking at it, thinking it's on the edge of the water. Have we got ore or have we got water? Uh, have we got fish? Water. Have we, got, have we got ore or have we got fish? We have got ore, which means we've got a little bit more Drenic Stone. Uh, I've currently got nine Drenic Stone. That is ore. So I'm able to get one more um, order at the mine, but that is it. That is that is my complete and total limit at the mine. Down here, a royal moth. I got nothing new with those, so we're just going to forfeit completely. I'm not going to bother. If I don't get anything new, then we won't we won't bother with it. Right, you disappointed me. False advertising. Well, we're going to have to put a stop to it now for a little while, folks, because I'm getting a bit parched. I'm also a bit peckish. So I'm going to have a bite to eat and a little bit to drink, and then we can continue onwards. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.